Geeksvana is your drone channel, providing news, reviews, flights, interviews, and much more. With the increasing global interest in drones, it was always going to be inevitable that a major global brand would look to get in on the action at some point. We see daily posts from small startups and crowdfunded projects, but there is a lack of crossover from the type of industry which understand technology and large-scale production. That is slowly starting to change, and certainly in my opinion, we will see more large companies get involved in the drone market. Just briefly, if you're new here, please consider subscribing. And to get the latest drone news first, hit the notification bell. Ford might not be a name which you would normally associate with drones and the future of our hobby and commercial enterprises. However, they are pretty well invested in the future of drones. In fact, they are the only automaker on the FAA's Aviation Rulemaking Committee, which Ford themselves tell us they are there because they want to ensure Ford's expertise in transportation is leveraged to help develop a framework for this new mode of transportation whether for goods, services, and even people. One development Ford are putting forward to the FAA at the moment is a new way to track and identify drones without any modification to existing models. Their patent allows the use of existing tech such as anti-collision lights to broadcast the drone's FAA 10-digit registration code in a signal which can be synced for consistency to ensure universal capability. This could be very helpful, especially if it ends up being available in Europe where some of our existing drones are due to be only flyable in remote locations far from people. Ford are also looking into the development of their own drones. One patent they're working on is a drone which could launch from the trunk, or the boot for us in the UK, of your car. The drone will be able to deploy automatically and will follow the vehicle to perform security and emergency aid functions. The drone will be a quadcopter that will be customizable and programmable with an onboard computer meaning the driver and crew will be able to switch the drone's primary function before flight. This could of course be hugely helpful to a range of users, from police looking to take a better view of a crash site, or help identify suspects to a surveyor, or even search and rescue. The concept isn't totally fresh, and there are a number of similar systems out there, such as Land Rover's Project Hero, which worked with the Austrian Red Cross to create some unique vehicles, which launch a fully capable drone from a converted roof box on top of the Discovery. What is new here with the Ford concept is that they're looking to develop the drone itself, not just make the vehicle to house it. Ford's illustration in their patent dated October 10th and filed with the US Patent and Trademark Office shows a quadcopter style device deploying from a vehicle. This quad can be programmed to follow the car as it drives or signal emergency services to the vehicle's location if it becomes stranded. The illustration itself seems to show a Ford Fusion looking car, but Ford says the patent can be applied to all types of vehicle from trucks to sedans. Ford hasn't confirmed the drone will be produced in-house, which could be made in partnership. Although they have confirmed the design and functionality will be down to their in-house drone research group. One function which Ford is emphasising is the emergency response to the drone vehicle itself, stating that the drone could take off, shine a bright light on the stricken car, as well as having flashing lights and sirens to help emergency services find them. This could be something very interesting, as long as Ford stick to their in-house design and development of the drone, instead of simply recoding an existing drone off the shelf. The former would apply a huge budget to the drone industry and allow innovation and competition away from the usual market leaders. What are your thoughts on this? Would you buy a Ford branded drone? Or would a car or truck with drone capabilities make you more likely to purchase a Ford vehicle? Let us know in the comments. We will of course keep you fully informed of any developments on this story. I'm off to buy a truck. Please remember to like and subscribe.